Alexander picks up the skull. Alexander decides to Alexander apparently not a Dickens. Oh next three spikes and you're out. Alexander hears the distant sound. Ah, you are a human only and not the monster himself. I heard you coming and thought you were the beast. Did my father send you here to save me? Why, yes he did, but how did you... Hush, there is no time. I think I have discovered the Minotaur's secret exit from the catacombs. Follow me and we'll both be saved. That's odd. Where did she... Go! Dickens! Oh! Next! Don't just wonder, Alexander. Let your conscience be your guide. Don't just wonder. Alexander takes the shield from the wall. Alexander finds two coins on the skeleton's eyes. He takes the old coins.
trap. The doors have sealed Alexander inside. And the ceiling is coming down. In a desperate move, Alexander throws a brick into the grinding gears. The brick is caught between two cogs. The gears shriek and shudder. The mechanism grinds to a halt. The ceiling is stuck. The trap is sprung. Sounds! A trap floor! Alexander seems to have fallen to a lower level of the catacombs. Wherever he is, the place sure is dark. Alexander can't even see his hand in front of his face. Alexander takes the candle from his tinder box and uses the flint in the box to light it. Aha! So that's why it's dark in here. A torch is out. Alexander lights the extinguished torch and puts his tinder box away. Alexander hears the sound of a wild beast again, this time so loud that the creature itself seems to be in the same room with him. The noises are coming from the other side of the east wall. Alexander puts the hole in the wall on the east wall. The hole in the wall trembles slightly with dread at the clammy feeling of the stones. Alexander puts the, the hole in the wall. Alexander peers through the hole in the wall and sees just another room in the catacombs. Not just another room at all. So that's why Alexander couldn't find the Minotaur's lair. At least Alexander now knows the lair exists somewhere in the maze on the other side of this wall. While Alexander contemplates what he's just seen, the hole in the wall, frightened by the Minotaur, makes a run for it. Alexander hopes the little creature finds its way home to the Isle of Wonder.
Alexander hears the distant sounds of a wild animal somewhere in the maze of rooms. Hmm, this tapestry looks familiar. Now let's see. I don't feel anything. Aha! A hidden latch. Alexander triggers the little latch. A secret door rolls open. It's the Minotaur, and he's struggling with a winged one's girl. She must be Lady Celeste. Alexander steps forward, determined to use anything at hand to save the girl. But before he can do anything... You there! Human! Help me! my lair. I ask you to release your captive or suffer the consequences. Rawr. Never you die, human. As the Minotaur advances in attack, Alexander slowly backs away. Until he can back away no more. Now where to, little man? That won't stop the Minotaur. Alexander, his back inches from the fiery pit, tempts the Minotaur with the Red Queen's scarf. Look here, you bully! Nice, bright red. Now you die! The Minotaur drops from sight amidst the consuming flames. Slowly, his scream fades as well. Have you been harmed, Lady Celeste? Are you all right? No, I am not all right. I assume you do not intend to leave me tied up on this vile monstrosity. Uh... Of course not. Sorry. Let's see. If you'll give me a moment, I'll have these untied in no time. I can't wait that long. Look, I wear a small dagger just inside my belt. It should be enough to cut the rope. Oh, all right. I... I've got it, Lady Celeste. Here we go. Thank you. You may keep the dagger as a gift for saving my life. That's very generous. Forget it. 
Do you mind if we just get out of here now? The Winged One's guards, bored with the pointless waiting, are startled by the sound of rock moving against rock. Lady Celeste, bide thee well. I'm quite well, thanks to the bravery of a mere human. So much for your superior intellects. Yes, me lady. Now bring him along. I'm going home. Hail to thee, great oracle. Lord Azure sends you this wingless mail. It appears that he solved the cliffs of logic and... Defeated the Minotaur in his lair. So I have seen. So this is the one that haunts my pool of late. Welcome, young seeker. What knowledge do you desire? Princess Cassima, whatever you can tell me, great oracle, Ah, of course, the princess. That explains my images. Let us see what we can see. I see a maiden, lovely and pure, but surrounded by evil. She is a rose set amid bitter thorns. It is her fate to be the pawn of dark powers. And yours to try to redeem her. How? How do I redeem her? Fate is not like the cut of a blade, young one. But rather, like the myriad of paths formed when a hammer cracks ice. I will tell you what I can. But what will actually come to pass is up to you. I see that any attempt to reach the girl will force you into battle. A struggle against a dark force. If you lose, your life will be forfeit. Who must I fight? A great darkness surrounds your adversary, preventing me from seeing clearly. I can only make out the shape of a black cloak. But before this final struggle, I see an infiltration. A dangerous game of hide-and-seek in corridors filled with enemies. The risks are high, but it is the only way to reach the one you seek. There is more than one way into this place. Your choice will dictate much. What else do you see, mighty oracle? Oh, oh, such pain. I see two restless spirits crying out for revenge. These shades could help you destroy the Dark Force. 
if they were to be brought back from their spiritual form. Yet this is only one possible path to your destiny. I'm afraid this is getting beyond me. I know very little about the afterlife. I can only advise getting counsel from the druids. Be warned. The druids are reclusive and dangerous. They might aid you, or they might destroy you. Like their island, the druids' nature is hidden in the mists. There is nothing more I can do for you, except to give you this. It is water from the sacred pool. That and my blessing go with you. Thank you, great oracle.